it's like do you have to landscape every day like is that necessary or is that just like for fun YouTube, it's your girl JD Jone, and I am back with another video. And it's your artist by the title, y'all. I got yet another haul. So today's haul is going to be a pretty little thing haul with a mixture of different little pickups here and there. So I have some Shein, I got Ego Official, the Hillside. I got a couple of different things for Ever 21. Oh, y'all have been asking me like where's the spring lookbooks? Where the lookbooks? Where the lookbooks lookbook lookbook? And y'all, I've been under a lot of pressure trying to, you know, make sure that I'm dealing with myself mentally and still getting content out. I'm not gonna lie, I've been up since I really been up all day, if I can be quite frank. I forced myself not to take a nap because I knew if I took a nap that that would be valuable time being lost. And I just wanted to, while I had the energy and I had the motivation in my spirit to work, I needed to work because days like this don't happen often. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been being really lazy, really just exhausted and just burnt out basically. Vlogmas burnt me out, breakup, a lot of stuff back, 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 back to back to back happened and I just need to take a breather so I'm not gonna I'm not here to say that I'm gonna be like 100% consistent now but it's my goal to try and get back on track so as long as I'm posting one at least once a week I feel like I'm cool but anyways if you're my channel please like comment subscribe also turn that bell for post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video and if you're returning welcome back and yeah let's go ahead and get into things that didn't work out is this pink tie shirt and I'll insert what it looks like on the model. But I should have went up a size. I underestimated the shirt. And I probably still could make it work if I could get my boobs like taped to the side. But ain't nobody had time for that. So I'm just going to send it back. Blinky dress. And it's not even anything wrong with this dress on me. It actually fits really cute. And it's very comfortable. But I just don't feel like I need it per se. Like it's not a necessity for me to keep this dress. Like. It was only $10, so I might keep it. I have it, like, in the maybe pal, but I don't know. At the same time, do I want to keep it? I, I don't know. I don't, it just don't feel like I need it, like, when I'm looking at it. And I'm really trying to... I want to keep stuff that I know I'm going to wear because I have a bad habit of, like, keeping stuff, and I never wear it, and I always end up giving it away. And that's wasting of money. Work are these mesh tights which i was gonna wear with this corset that i ordered but it just didn't they didn't even go past my butt usually mesh tights are like really stretchy but these are like really stiff so i should have went up a size i actually got a four because i underestimated like how much stretch they had and you know a pretty little thing i always like to go down a couple sizes or a size because their stuff runs so awkward you have to literally like know how to went up a size in these but it's okay because i ain't know if i really wanted them like that anyway what I'm sad about are these blue pants um and they have these like cutouts on the side and i thought they were really cute and like really just summery and like i don't know i thought they were really cute they fit cute on me but once it didn't work out with the pink shirt i was like i really don't need it because like i don't see me wearing this like with anything else I mean they're comfortable and all of that but it's like i'm just trying to keep stuff that i know i need and stuff that i'm going to wear like i know for a fact like when i go out i'm gonna put this on next thing that i am keeping that i didn't show because i don't have anything to wear with it are these purple mule type heels super duper cute adorable like a lavender type purple and these are on these are on sale i believe i got these for like 17 dollars and they're actually comfortable so i thought that was a steal i think i want to go like from shoes to clothes i i was gonna show like shoes 
like when I show the outfits that I paired it with. These Fashion Nova heels, I got these last year. I don't have a link to these, but if y'all want to look at a Fashion Nova video I did last year, I'm pretty sure this is in it. And I've been waiting the longest to finally get something to wear with these. I mean, it's nothing special about them, but I actually think they're really, really cute. They have like a croc print and like this teal turquoise color. These blue heels from Ego, I cut them because I hate strappy heels. Well, I hate how the straps on here look, so I cut them. Probably should have did that, but oh well. It's just a blue heel. Ego had a really good sale, but when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all all of their heels are uncomfortable, I will never. They're lucky that they're cheap. They're lucky that they was like seven or eight dollars because if they wasn't, these will be going back. A little disappointed in these. I might actually, no, I threw, I threw out of boxes away. I'm really disappointed in these. These hurt like a mother breaker, okay? And they're also not really pink. They're like purple, like a fuchsia. I don't really like fuchsia. I got a yellow heel. Well, it looked more yellow on the site, but of course it's orange. So they kind of catfished me a little bit with some of these colors. It's the first green heel that I have, and I got these from Pretty Little Thing. Super duper cute. Like these. Another green heel that I got from Ego, and I really like these. They're comfortable. So They're not. This there. is the exciting part the try on. So. I'm gonna start out really, really chill first because I don't wanna, you know, spring it on y'all too heavy because I know I got some cute stuff. And I tried to buy a lot of stuff that like was out of my comfort zone, a lot of colors, a lot of stuff like that. My next haul, I wanna do neutral. So I wanna do different. I don't want everything to be the same. Like I don't wanna just be this bright pack of highlighters over the summer. I wanna have some neutral, some chill looks, but I also wanna have some bright so I can really just, you know, pop out but it's also gonna be real grown and sexy because i turned 21 this year so okay anyways so first things first we're gonna show this pretty little thing shirt and so it's just this green green pretty little thing shirt and i paired it with these red pretty little thing shorts and then i paired them with my sunset post dunks and so I thought this was really cute, especially these shorts. They're like a little boxer short to me. That's how they look. And they're not too short, so they're good for like, you know, just being around family or, you know, it, it's not it's not like booty shorts. So I really like these and they're not too tight. I got these in a size US 4. And y'all see how they fit on me? Like, literally, I wear a 8 in jeans, 8 in pants. So like... You got to know how to work pretty little thing size. I know for a fact I don't wear a four in pants, but I knew that I had to get a four in these because of how I know how pretty little thing runs. If I were to get an eight, I'm almost 95% sure that I wouldn't have liked how they fit. So, I got a US four. Keep that in mind when we order with them. Anything that looks like it has any type of stretch, go down the size. And I'm not even saying because, oh, you want stuff to be hoochie, hoochie in your hoochie. No. These shorts are, are literally not loose on me, but they're the perfect, like, amount of fitted on me. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. So, like, you got to know how to work it, honey. So, while we own it, this sweatsuit that I have on is Pretty Little Thing, this sweatshirt, and the sweatpants. These are really old, though. Sage green sweatsuit in my favorites, well, in my wish list. And I never ordered it because... I ain't gonna lie y'all, pretty little thing prices thing got kind of up there. So you really got to catch them on a 50% off sale. I usually don't shop unless they have a 50% off or a 40% off, 40, 40% off sale. Their prices thing kind of got up there. So I was trying to wait and see to a sale and I literally forgot that it was in my wish list till I made this big old cart. And I was like, oh my God, it's, I didn't even have to use the 50% off because it was on sale. So I think the pants was like $12 and the top was like $12. And I love me a pretty little thing sweatsuit. Like they're always, especially their active suits. This is kind of like vacation looks, kind of, sort of. Not really, like it's your airport fit. Like this is something I would wear to the airport. Shorts that I got. 
and they're just like some little compression shorts this purse that i got from shein last year and this tank top that i got from forever 21 and it just says i shine brown girl and it's a part of their black history month collection and i got it on sale so i was just kind of throwing stuff together really i probably wouldn't wear that with heels i probably put on slides but i was just trying to you know give some type of something for y'all because i know some of the stuff didn't work and that was planned outfits so i just wanted to make sure that i added some stuff in the haul so y'all could get a glimpse of it shorts like this like are a staple for me like i wear them around the house i wear them out i love little shorts like this the chill items is this super cute maxi dress i don't even know if it's supposed to be considered a maxi dress or if it's just a maxi dress because it's on me oh yeah it's a maxi dress but it's this short sleeve dress and it's really, 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 really tight fitted and structured. I got this in a size US 6. It fits like a glove. All this fabric of this dress like is so, 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 so good. Like it's literally one of those fabrics that like snap back and snatch you in. And I really love it. It's a tan neutral color. So it's something really chill. I paired it with my easy slides. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can throw on some tennis shoes, you can throw on some heels, however you want to style it. I just put on easy slides because I probably am going to wear this as like a chill outfit. But this dress is gorgeous and the quality is, is great. So I really like this and yeah. This is something that like I usually wouldn't wear. That's why I said I really wanted to do stuff that I want to break out of my comfort zone this year. So... I saw these pants on a model and I was like, Jada, just get them. They were really cute on the model and I was like, just get them, just get them, just get them, just get them. I had to convince myself to get them. And so it's these pants and they have these rings going all down the side because the leg is cut out. And I got these in the USA 4 and I wouldn't got any other size because they literally fit exactly how I wanted them to fit. So I would say, I mean, it depends on how you want them to fit, but they fit. I would say go to that. This is two sizes down for me. And they fit great. So I've got these hot pink pants. And I paired it with this bodysuit. Now this bodysuit gave me a little trouble. It's not really structured. And I got a lot of chest. But you can't really wear a bra with this. So when I wear this, I'm going to have to really finesse it. I probably should have went down a size so it could be more tight fitted. So it could like hold me in. Like a lot of people think like. I don't know how to describe it like especially with tops and with all these cuts and stuff like that sometimes you need it a little tighter so to tight tie you in um but i know it's a way that i can make it work i could cut the back and tie it or i could do something to make it work tape it or something so it's just this green bodysuit with this cut across the front and it's a cut in the on this side too and it's just really cute and i got this in the us8 like i said i probably should have got a six but it's okay i paired it with this green purse that i also got from pre little thing in this order and i don't know it's just really cute it kind of gave barney vibes a little bit but it also gave vacay it gave grown it gave gave different for me and i really i'm all about like change and evolution and stuff like that so I want to have my hot girl moment. Like, I just want to have a hot girl moment. I don't know what it is, but I, I just want to have a hot girl moment. Moving on. So, next are these shorts from Forever 21, y'all. I fell in complete love with these shorts, okay? So, I was in Forever 21 returning something, and it has a matching denim jacket. I didn't get the denim jacket. I'm probably going to go back and get the denim jacket, but these shorts, the details. so adorable so this has these rhinestone little things on the side and i think it's so 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 cute and honestly y'all i don't know if all this stuff in this haul is exactly how i'm going to pair it but for the sake of this video this is the stuff that i put on with it so right here is this chartreuse button down shirt button downs are literally a staple for the summer you can wear bathing suits under them. You can wear crops and shorts under them. Like, these are staples. Like, if you got every color button down, you in the game. Because they're literally, like, they go with everything. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Flip-flops, heels, tennis shoes, however you want to wear them. So, I really, really like this shirt. It's very lightweight. And it has a little stretch to it. I bought this in a size 
you would say four you know um but now they're usually pretty oversized in these shorts i've got a 29 and that i think i think forever 21 goes up to like a 30 if i'm not mistaken so i'm like 29 30 in your jeans and these pants actually have some stretch to them a good bit of stretch actually so if you're around a 8 a 10 12 even you probably could get into their law what i paired it with is this bag that i got from shein and this is not the focus of this video so this is a little bag this little straw bag and i think this bag is so darn cute it's got gold accents and this is perfect for like a vacation so next while we're already on it is this bathing suit so this bathing suit is a three-piece bathing suit and it comes separate you can't buy it as like a set it's got the bottoms in a you would say six which is like a medium i got the top in like a 12 i think yeah i got a top in this usa 12 fits perfectly could be a little wider but i'm not complaining because most of the bikinis i get are hella little around the chest area so a usa 12 in the top and i got a usa 4 i believe in the cover up no i got a usa 6 pretty really love this um, baby suit and i was eyeballing it for the longest it was in my wish list and then i just said let me go ahead and buy it and just just do it it'll be good for the economy so you know what i did i bought it i can just see me now at the beach all the sun um what is it called <laughs> sunscreened up everything i just see this with some long curly long 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 curly hair and just I'm going to be so tan in the summer. I'm going to be so brown and bronze. It's going to be so pretty. So I can't wait to wear this. I don't got no trips book, but I really re I'm really ready to take some trips. But it's just a matter of who am I going with, where we going, and all of that. So once I get all that figured out, y'all, I'm being the mother freaking win. My passport appointment is Monday. I know y'all probably like, girl, why you ain't got no passport? I ain't got no passport but i'm finna have one and once i have one i'm out of the country it's this pink three hole dress i got this in a size us6 it fits like a glove i wore it with my gucci shoes and my gucci purse that's really what i bought it for because i haven't really found anything to go with those shoes i've only worn those shoes like three or four times and they're so scuffed up it's sad but i think this dress would be really i i thought this dress would be really cute with it if i wanted to do like a girly thing one thing about me i am a sneaker person to the t but i will always dress my sneakers up like i don't mind putting on a dress or a blazer or you know a skirt with my tennis shoes like i'm super duper girly but i love me a sneaker like point blank period really cute it's really simple though nothing really major to it and then so the next thing that is probably my favorite out of all of them is this turquoise blue and neon green shirt and it is just so pretty and they also have a pink one but i really thought this was cute so it's like it's it just screams spring it just screams summer it just screams it screams vibes like so cute i paired it with these denim shorts that i got from forever 21 and let me tell y'all something your girl is losing weight i am losing weight i don't know how i'm losing weight y'all i'm gonna be honest i haven't okay i'm on a diet currently oh january boom that's my last diet video when i started my diet in january i wasn't even dieting for real i'm just now dieting for real for real meal prepping for real for real so I haven't really been doing anything to maintain my weight or anything but when i tell y'all that these shorts were so tight on me last year like the crotch area the waist area was like in miami i took all these shorts to miami i had a tough time and when i came back like i'll say like around like august maybe when i was trying to put these shorts on i could not get these shorts around my like i couldn't get these shorts to button they button the crotch area is not tight anymore like i honestly think i'm just i don't know how i'm dropping the pounds but 
I'm losing weight somewhere and doing something because that's all I got to say. With the Fashion Over Heels and this and also with this bag that I stole from my mama. My mama just be buying stuff that she don't need and it's just this coach purse. It comes with this little pouch too. So you can attach the pouch to the purse. And I'm not like really big on Coach, but Coach is rebranded and I like their rebrand. So I buy, you know, well, I only got one purse from the rebrand. But it's two purses that I want. It's a silver purse and a gold purse. So I just thought it was really cute. And I was like, I got some shoes that look exactly that color. And so I just took it out of her closet and that was my. That's the one thing I'm kind of disappointed with. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I cut it. But it's this corset top. I'm going to insert how it's supposed to look on a model. And it's supposed to be a tank top, but I got it into a halter top just because it didn't fit. So this is a $50 shirt that I didn't cut up. I'm kind of mad because I was going to send it back. But once I cut it, it was no turning back. So I bought those green snakeskin leggings from the beginning to go with this. But I ended up pairing these with it because I couldn't fit them. I just cut the footies off of them because personally I didn't like the footies with this particular look. So it's just these stockings and I got these from Jersey She a while back. And I just thought it was cute with this corset. But I'm kind of upset about the corset. I'm not going to lie about the shirt because it's more of a shirt than a corset. I got my size because I was under the impression that it was going to be a real corset like structured. But it's more of like a shirt material. It's still gorgeous nonetheless, but I'm kind of upset because this shirt wasn't cheap. So now I'm kind of got to keep it and I kind of got to wear it because it wasn't cheap. And our last two items, y'all, it feel like the finish line is right there in my bed. I'm going to go to sleep. I have one more piece of content that I have to shoot before the night is over with. And I'm like going to run to my room and run to my bed, wash my face, wash this makeup on my face and just like rejoice. So, I have this zebra skirt that I got from Forever 21, and I love the material. This is what made me get it. Personally, like, I'm not, I'm not big on animal print, but it was the material that made me say, oh, yeah, this skirt is fire. Because it's like, I love a, I love a, I love a snatch you in material, and that's basically what it is. It's like a sweater material, but it's like a snatch you in material at the same time. So, that's what made me really, really, really get it. And so then I have this blue button down shirt. Like I said, button downs carry, literally carry the summer seasons. So I got this blue button down. And like I said, I paired it with this skirt, but I don't know if that's exactly what I would wear. I was just putting stuff together. Like I said, these are so versatile. You can wear a bikini under this, a bathing suit under this, a dress under this. You can dress this up. They got a matching pants that go with this, and I really wanted it, but I was like, I don't even think I'm going to really wear them, so I'm not going to order them. I got this in the USA 4. It fits perfectly, and I paired it with yellow accents because they say yellow and blue are, you know, good collab. What is it? Corresponding color? I don't know. They say they go well. Just like pink and green, they say pink and green go good together. They say blue and yellow go good together. So... I decided, oh, it, or is it yellow and purple? Yellow It's yellow and purple and blue and orange. But they said blue and yellow go together too. So that's why I paired it. But, um, so you got the pop of black and white with the blue and the orange. And I just thought it was really cute. The last and final thing that I'm going to be showing for this haul. And I am disappointed. And I think I'm going to send these pants back. Because, honestly, they cute and all. But I don't see myself wearing these. And so... The whole entire, I had two orders. My whole entire second order is dang near a, a mess. Besides the bathing suit. So, it's just these black pants. Real cute, right? They fit really good. But the thing is, I didn't order black. I ordered cream. And they sent me black. So, I gotta send these back and try to explain to them like, this ain't what I ordered. I got enough black pants. So... They look like this, but they actually stretch out to look really good on you. I got these in a size small, so that's probably why they look so small. But I don't think nobody is this small. This is like baby width. And so I just paired it with this rumper that I cut a long time ago. It's a mesh rumper. 
and I haven't worn it yet but I thought this would really go with the vibes of you know what I got going on personally I would want to pair it with something more colorful but I thought it was cute with the black and then I paired it with those pink fuchsia heels so thought it was cute I could see this being worn open and just you know really really cute but I'm probably going to send these pants back back just because they're not what I wanted. Alright you guys, that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I can barely keep my eyes open. I know y'all probably like, this girl's dramatic. But no, I'm literally that freaking tired. Like, I am finna crash. Like, you ever be so tired or like up so long, like your body literally gives out on you. And I'm glad I got this out the way and I'm glad... I got the motivation to do this and I don't want to be bothered and I don't want to do anything so I'm glad that I actually have this content recorded so I can go ahead and start editing and you know uploading the stuff and getting stuff out for y'all so I hope you guys enjoyed this video all the items will be linked down below please like comment subscribe also turn on bell post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video and yeah I'll see you guys in my next freaking video